Hi guys, um, today we're doing, um, a lollipop polymer clay charm, but, yeah. So basically, you'll just need, um, red or whatever color you want of the, your lollipop, a straw, um, part of a paper clip or like, a piece of lead, I guess, for the stick of it, depending on the size you want. I wish I could take this off, that'd be perfect. I wonder if I can try. I'll try it. I tried. <laughs> okay, and then, um, that's basically it. Just enough clay, like, however much you think would be good. But still keep some red by you, just in case, or whatever color you're using. So, yeah, we'll get right into it. So, yeah, here, I'm just going to do that. So take your red, or whatever color clay, I'm going to say red, and, um, kind of just roll into a ball, just to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And then just knead it. You want to make sure it's all out, and then just flatten it, because this is a good part you need. Make sure the flatten is very even. We don't want to wreck this. Once you flatten it, take a tool and just pick it up. And then cut it like one long strip out of it. We, you might need to fold it in half and flatten it again for a longer sh line so you can cut a longer one for later because you're going to need it really bad. This is like a dum dum sucker. And then keep just flattening it. Until it's your desired length in um thickness. And then just cut long, straight, thin strip. You don't want it too thin. There. You got the, the, um, strip you wanted, and then you still have red left over. So take that red, roll it into a ball. You might want to cut this later on. Put it over your side for now. Roll it on the thing, on your board or whatever, just to make sure it gets all the air bubbles out and you don't have anything in it, so it doesn't you know, suck. <laughs> so once all the um, creases are sealed, you're left with just a plain ball. So then you take whatever thing you want to use to hold it. Like I'm going to use a straw, just like that. Make sure it's to size. So if my lollipop's here, I'm cutting it there. I'm going to cut it just a fourth of a centimeter shorter because I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how far that's going to go. But I realize we're going to need this a little thinner. So just cut it a tad thinner. You don't want it too thin. But yeah. So there we go. And basically, 
me once you have this. See how well it fits around the ball you made? If it doesn't fit all around, the then just like make another but longer or stretch it a little. And since mine fits perfectly, it's great. Just go around the edges so it squeezes all the air out of it. Like this. So once you did that, take whatever tool you're using and um, like a pencil or something and just poke the hole in so it does Make sure the pencil point goes in so it doesn't wreck it and kind of twist as you're going in. And then you can stick with the stick you're using that was in it. Oh gosh. Okay, I found it. So then, there it is, and you can just bake it. If it's metal, you can bake it. You gotta let it dry if it's plastic, or else it will ruin your oven. So there you go. It looks like a real one, sort of. <laughs> Hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and um, comment what else you want me to make. I made pies and all sorts of things. And yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and. Bye.